Hello guys, you can see I got the new blackboard, so I think all my future videos I'm going to do on a blackboards. And in this video I want to discuss implicit differentiation. I want to give you the motivation of the implicit differentiation. I'm also going to show you the trick or the method, uh, the intuition, in other words, how you should understand uh, implicit differentiation. And in this video I'm going to compute a small example to find the derivative of this function by using implicit differentiation. Okay guys, thank you for watching and enjoy this video. So hello everyone. Before we go on to discuss implicit differentiation, let's remind what is a derivative. So we know if we're given y equal f of x, then if you want to find the derivative of this function, we're going to write this as dy over dx equals f prime of x. And in this way, if you want to, for example, to find the derivative of x square, then x square prime is going to be just two, uh, is going to be just two x. So when we give a function in terms of variable x, we can find derivative pretty easily, and you know how to do it. But what if I have an example of x squared plus y squared equals to 1? What should I do in this case? Because over here we can see that our function y expressed in terms of x. But here our function y is not expressed in terms of x. So this expression is not actually a function. So what should I do if I want to find a derivative for this expression? In this case I want to use implicit differentiation. So let me give you a motivation how we should do this. So, uh, let's just write, uh, we given function y equals f of x. And we know that if we want to find the derivative, from here we're going to follow that dy over dx equals f of prime of x. And then, if I'm going to think about dx as a variable, what can I do? I can multiply both sides by dx. So let's do it. From here, if I'm going to multiply left-hand side by dx, I'm going to get just dy. And for the right-hand side, uh, I will get f prime of x uh, times dx. And you can see we got a really important formula that dy equal f prime of x and dx. But let's recover what is our y. Our y is f of x. So from other side, if I want to find what is my y prime, I will get that y prime equals f prime of x. So from here, I can change my formula a little bit, and I will get that my dy is equal y prime times dx. Okay. Uh, and we're going to use this formula to find the implicit, uh, to use implicit differentiation for this example. So the first thing that I want to discuss, that we can see that if we can write y as f of x, it's just y prime times d of x. So let me give you an example uh, of such functions. So let's say we're given y equals x squared, and I want to find my dy. So in this case, my dy is going to be just uh, y prime, but in this case, my uh, y prime is just x squared prime times dx. And, but what is x squared prime? x squared prime is just 2x. So I got that this is 2x dx. And this is one of the example of applying this formula. Uh, some small facts that I want to show for about this formula. The fact first one that is uh, linear. So if I have dy 1 plus y2, it's equals to dy1 plus dy2. So if I have d of sum of two functions, it's equal to the sum of d's. And the second fact uh, that d times some constant y is equals const some constant times dy. As, uh, both of these facts I'm going to prove in the end of the video, but I'm going to use them to find the implicit uh, differentiation, to use implicit differentiation in this example. Okay, so 
we want to find the derivative of the following expression. Then what can I do? I can apply my d to the both sides. So I'll have d of x square plus y square equals d of 1. And then you can think about this expression as function y1. And you can think about this expression as function y2. And about this expression as function y3. So let's write them down. y1 equals x square y2 equals uh, y square and y3 equals uh, 1. And I know the formula. The formula that I'm going to use, I'm going to use that dy equals y prime times d of x. And I have x uh, under my d because my y depends on variable x. So let's find for each of these the corresponding dy1, dy2, and dy3. So dy1 is going to be just y1 prime times d of x, where y1 prime is just x square prime, d of x, or in other words, 2x times d of x. Uh, for the second one, I can see that my function depends on y, so we'll have uh, dy instead of d of x. So my dy2 is equals to y2 prime dy and the same procedure I have x square prime and y square prime is going to be 2y dy and the last one I have dy3 and we can see that if we have one the function and one prime is just zero so dy3 is going to be just zero. Why? Because if I multiply zero by anything, it's always zero. Okay, we got each of this expression. And then we're going to apply them to find this one. So we can see that dy3, or in other words, d1, d1 is equals to zero on right-hand side. But what about left-hand side? For left hand side, I know that my function, my d is linear. So from here, I can write, uh, let me do it like this. I can see that I can write this as dx squared plus dy squared. And I know that right hand side equals to 0, so it's 0. But dx squared is just dy1. And I will get the dy, dx squared is just equal to x dx. But what about dy squared? dy squared is just y2, so it's equals to y dy. And the whole thing is equals to 0. So what the, uh, the next step, I can divide by 2, because 2 is non-zero, and move x dx to the, to the right-hand side. So I will get y dy equals to negative x dx. And then I'm going to divide both sides by dx and by y. So from here, we'll get the dy over dx equals to negative xy. Yeah. And this is the final answer. You can see, like, once you start to thinking about uh, your dy or implicit differentiation as Like this formula that you take the d of your function is just f prime of your function times d corresponding to this variable. You can see that you can find uh, the implicit differentiation of some uh, non-function expression super easily. You just take the d of both sides and use uh, the corresponding formula, dy equals y prime dx. And by doing like sim simple like uh, algebra multiplication addition, you can find your differentiation. Why? Because uh, you will give in some expression, you will express them in terms of dx and dy, then you're going to just solve for dx separately, for dy separately, and divide both sides by dx, and you will get your final answer. Okay, so this is a bonus material. I want to show that my d is actually linear, and I can take constant uh, out of my d. And the proof is super simple. What we just need to do you just need to use the definition. So let's do the first one. For the first one, 
I know that dy1 plus y2, and I can think about this one as my y equals to y prime. So this the whole thing is equals to y1 plus y2 prime dx. Yeah, because it's uh, dy times y prime dx. But I know that my derivative is linear. So from here will follow that y prime of uh, dx. No. It's 1 prime plus y2 prime dx. And then again, this is simple algebra rule. Uh, so we're going to have y1 prime dx plus y2 prime dx. And from here, I can see this is going to be just my dy1, and this is going to be my dy2. And we got the d of sum equals sum of d's. And in the same manner, you can prove this one by using the fact that uh, c of f of x prime equals to c f prime of x. OK, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.